friends and welcome back to another um sorting photo cards into my binders with me today um i have as you can see quite a few cards especially for uh, miss twice over here um along with some bigger inclusions uh, i was kind of hold off a little bit longer but we're just going to do it and today i'm going to be putting wano away again i was going to make him his own video but because it's taking a while for me to get the rest of the pre-order benefits and i'm not going to be having the last couple regular album photo cards I need for a little while, I'm just gonna go ahead and start um, organizing everything into the binders a while. The only group that we won't be putting away right now is Monsta X. I do have a few cards that we'll be putting away, but as you can see, I started getting, um, I'm starting to get in some of the cards for their newest comeback, No Limit. So those won't be going away today, but anything older or special photo cards from not No Limit, <laughs> um, I will be putting away today. So yeah, let's just go ahead and we will get right on into it. So I know I usually start out with my girl groups binder, but because I have so much twice today, we're actually not gonna start with them. We're gonna start with my boy groups two binder. Um, and this is ATs and Hype and Treasure. And there's a new collection in here, which is Mr. Taman. I decided I'm going to collect his solo stuff and I'm going to also collect him from Super M. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll get started here. I do have a little bit of every group except for um, treasure because they obviously haven't been doing anything recently um so i do have a few ats photo cards they are all Wu young <laughs> these are ones that i got from um a recent well my most recent buy e haul i don't know if i filmed i actually don't think i filmed the package that i got him in because it was just a couple um things that i got that time around so i just opened it on my own um but yeah so here we are so we have his uh, second A version regular card, which is this one. And then we have his diary version limited, right? No, okay. Ah, I see what happened. This is his A version limited and I accidentally put it where the diary version limited is supposed to go, right? Yeah, because A is these ones. Oh my gosh, I put his diary one here. What am I doing? Wow, okay. So <laughs> this is his A limited. I'm missing his A version one still, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know how this got all messed up. I just obviously wasn't paying attention last time I did it. So, so yeah, so I'm missing his A version one, but it's just gonna say A version two for now. Um, and then I do have his one of his regular diary and his diary limited so that was supposed to be down here I guess I got the colors mixed up last time I don't know <laughs> but yes I have those here I've been thinking about reorganizing my layout because I just have them going chronological order for Hong Jun and Wu Young but I really like how Mingyi and Yuno's is gonna look because they're just like there's enough for them to fully fill out a page for both Fever Part two and three so I kind of want to separate those ones but I'd have to play around with the layout so I'm not quite sure <laughs> but we'll come back to that another day um, and then I do have the last two Z versions for Wu Young so I have his regular one and his limited so yes that is what they look like so we're almost done um, for Hong Jun I think I just need a couple of his left Oh, I need quite a few of his. I do have a few of his on the way. I have a few of Mingy's and a few of Yuno's because I I bought them from um, actually the person that did all the group orders for Wano's comeback that I joined. Um, they had quite a few for sale. So I have quite a few on the way. So they'll be close to done. I just need a few. Uh, actually, Mingy will be completely done after that. I believe so that's super exciting so yeah <laughs> so but surely making progress i did never i never put filler sleeves in for this page but that's fine um i do have one card for and hype in i have jay's uh i can't remember which version this is uh his skilla regular version selfie card so i have this one here um i still haven't found trades for these and i haven't bought my essential versions um and hype is not a huge priority for me so I'm not, it's not my focus right now. The Monsters are <laughs> my number one priority right now. Um, and so then here I did set up for um, Taman's all of his si uh, single stuff, all of his single solo work here. So I was originally only going to do from Never Gonna Dance Again moving forward, but I just set up for all of them because it's going to be a low priority type of thing. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Um, but I do have a couple Super M things for him. 
and I also have I'm also low-key thinking I'm gonna collect 10 <laughs> and Kai as well so I do have um, another so I did pull one of I, te I pulled 10's uh, red ID um, in my two albums that I bought um, and that was the only thing of Kai 10 or Tame and I bought but I did get a trade for um, this super M card. This is actually from Super M. This isn't from um, Super One. So this is his Super M uh, US version. Um, and then I do have his green ID as well. I think I'm going to put the green IDs in the IDs in this way instead because they kind of move around because they're heavy. So yes, so we've got his Super One green ID to go there. And then we have his Super One US version photo card. I don't know if I'm gonna get the Asia versions to be honest. I'll figure it out then. Um, but for Ten and Kai, I don't have anything set up, so I guess I'll put in a page real quick. I don't really know how I'm gonna do the layout because there's three ID cards for each, which is six. And then if I do get both the US and Asia press, that's four more cards. I might just do the uh, US press for both of them. Um, because I have Kai's US press on the way. So what I might do is do like their IDs and then their selfies here. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, so I'll put Mr. 10 at the top for now. And yeah, that's all I've got. And I do have these two, the two group cards. So I think I'm just gonna double side them like this and put them in the center here. <laughs> because I don't know what else to do with them, and I already have them sleeved, so we're just gonna put them in here. Should we go in, oh my gosh. This nine pocket is a little rough, but it's okay. So yes, so that is all I have for this, because treasure, oh no, I lied. I have a bigger inclusion. I did pull Taman's uh, big postcard. I don't have my two pocket pages over here, and I don't think I have any of the binder I brought up. I have a small binder that I keep all my nine pockets in, and I think there's a few three pockets in here. But I don't think there's any two pockets. There's not. My two pockets are literally in the bedroom behind me, so let me just go grab them. <laughs> I don't even know if this will fit in a two pocket. No, it won't. Okay, so this actually needs one pocket, and I don't know if I have any one pockets left. So I have a few one pockets left. I don't know. Oh, so I was originally going to collect all three, um, uh, Taming, Ten, and Kai for this too if I could, but since they need to go on one pocket pages, I think I'm just going to do Taming since I already have it. <laughs> Um, I don't know that I necessarily want to collect all bigger inclusions for Taman, but we'll keep that there. I'll put cardstock in later. Um, but that is officially it for this binder, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so up next, we've got the boy group one binder that holds Wano, Omega X, Kingdom, and Stray Kids. I was going to put Taman in here, but because Wano's growing so fast, I didn't want to put him in here. And since Treasure hasn't been doing anything, Taman just went in there for now. <laughs> um, if Wano ends up growing bigger and my other boy group binder ends up getting thicker as well, then I will get yet another binder and move like one or two groups from here and one of the ones from there over. Um, we're gonna do Wano last just because he has so much. So I'm gonna move over to Omega X who I don't know if I have anything for them. I do, I have two cards. So I have a Taedong's last album card that I needed from What's Going On, and then I have another Vamos Pub uh, for Sabin. Someone offered to trade for something that I had on my page. I forget what it was, but we traded for it. So yes, yeah, so Taedong goes here. So all album cards for uh, Jehan, Sabin, and Taedong are done for both of their albums. Um, I did put their Make Star Pubs here because they matched their outfits from this, um, and just to complete a page, um, but they had three versions for what's going on so that's why it has its own page and then for Sabin I'm going to go ahead and put this back here I officially have a full nine pocket page of Sabin pubs which is super exciting I'm going to put this one up here because he has the white hair or the blue hair so yes super happy about that I do have all the pubs for each member separated so um I don't have necessarily the same pops for everyone, and Sabin is obviously my number one priority, So, um, but I do get ones for Taedong and um, Jaehan if I see good bundles or anything like that. Um, I have the foam strips back here too. I still have not gotten Taedong or Sabins for those, but that's fine. Um, for Kingdom, I do have a few cards for their newest comeback, so that's super exciting. So for the pre-order benefit, I have Dons. 
I still am looking for Arthur and Mujin trades, but Kingdom is one that's hard to trade for, so I might, I should just look. And it's hard to look on Baiyi, because when you type in Kingdom, like Kingdom Hearts comes up a lot, so that's also hard. Um, but I do have Don's complete set for the album cards, and then I have one for Mujin and one for Arthur, so I'm just missing one of Arthur's and one of Mujin's. So yes, we are very close to having this done as well, which is exciting. I did trade away all of my album cards, so I just, um, I have three Make Star Pobs. I would like to trade for obviously Mujin and Arthur first, and then the extra one I would like to trade for one of the two um, album cards, ideally, but I don't know if that's gonna happen that way. <laughs> um, I might have to trade my Make Stars for uh, album pobs, I don't know, but. Either way, again, Kingdom's kind of low priority right now. Um, they're like a medium priority group for me in general. So, yes. Um, for Stray Kids, I do have a few things. I just have, I think, two older cards for um, Felix. I have an I Am Who and an I Am Not. So I have the I Am Not Selfie, which is this one here. Do, do, do. And then I have his I Am Who yellow border. So we're really close to being done on um, Felix's older cards. We're just missing six. Yeah, we're just missing six. So that's super exciting. And I don't know, I feel like one of the ones I'm missing for like here is a limited card. So I don't know if I'll necessarily get that one, but either way, we're doing good. Actually, I'm gonna put this clear card here in this extra white sleeve I have now. I feel like it'll look better in a white sleeve. Yeah, there you go. Pops a little bit better. So that is it for Stray Kids. Yeah, I'm basically done with No Easy. I'm just missing a few pobs yet, and I'm waiting for Felix's red frame card to come in. I did buy it, but it's coming internationally, so yeah. I'm just missing three pobs. Two of them are IMs, so I'm not too worried about those, but one of them is Felix's. So that one I am getting a little bit worried about. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is it for that. I haven't set up for Christmas Evil yet. Again, Monster X and Wano have been my main priority right now. So we'll figure that out when, the album, when my albums come in for Stray Kids. So for Wano, I have quite a few things. So I was kind of messing around with my layout for Wano's section a few times. I originally just had all of his album and photo cards and pobs together in the front and then put all the bigger inclusions in the back, but I just didn't like that then. Um, so his is back to being organized by album, except for this pod page. I have, I only have his K-Towns from Love, Sin, and In Part 1, and then I have his K-Town and an MMT from Love, Sin, and In Part 2. So I just put them together on a page in between the two sets. So that's that. Um, yeah, so let me go. all of this stuff. We don't need to recap everything, but here is, um, the layout for Blue Letter. We do have a fat stack of cards here. I'm still missing three of his regular album cards, but again, I'm waiting on group orders to come in before I do that. So let me separate out all of his pre-order benefits from the regular cards. Okay, <laughs> had to do that first. So I still have the majority of his cards. Um, so what I think I'm actually going to do is put version 2's cards on this page because for whatever reason, version 2 is the only version where there's um, two photo cards, like there's three concepts and two photo cards for each, whereas version 1 and version 3, there were six concepts in the photo book and they did a photo card from each concept. I don't know why they did it that way, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do version all the version 2 ones on one page because it'll look more cohesive that way, stacked on top of each other. And then, yeah, we'll figure out the other ones here in a second, I think. Yeah, and because the backs all look the same, I'm also not concerned with them being in version order just because, again, they don't really need to be. So I'm gonna pull these out. So ignore it when it says version one, three, one, two, or three because they're not gonna be in version order anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the twinkle lights in the middle because they're my favorite and then these two are also red concepts So They would look better staying together. Oh, I am missing one of these ones though. It's okay I'll actually take this version 2 one up here <laughs> Because this is technically version 2 up here, so Put that there and then I think I'm gonna do version 3 next 
just because of the way that the cards work out. I'm gonna do, I forget what the other one looks like, so I might play around with this more again when I get the actual cards in. But I think I wanna do it like this for now. And then on this page, I'm gonna do it's technically version one six, so I'm just gonna for my own reference in case I'm really hung up about it <laughs> when uh the time comes. But yeah, I forget what the ones I'm missing look like from version one and version three. I obviously know what the one from version two looks like because like I said, they were kind of more cohesive. Um and then for these ones, again, I cannot remember what the other one looks like. I think I'm just gonna do it like this for now and again, I'll play around with it if I need to once I get the actual, like have the last two cards. So this might change the next time you see it, um, but who knows, <laughs> we'll see. All right, so that's it for those. Um, so the pre-order benefits are just all kinds of funky. Obviously I wasn't expecting as many pops cause that's the only ones I had set up for right there. Um, I do have his bigger inclusions here. So let me, um, I have three pockets in here, but I think these are too big for three pockets. I think these need to go into two pockets. These are the Highline store benefit bigger inclusions. Um, and I do have his other things here. I might do the bigger inclusions off camera, honestly, just because this is already gonna be a lot. I have so many photo cards to put away. Oh, and I missed two for Kingdom. I missed, <laughs> and I missed one for Stray Kids again. So I had these two for Kingdom. So those will go in eventually. And Stray Kids, I still have Changbin's standee from the limited version that I never put away last time. It's fine, I'll do it off camera. Um, but for the pobs, because there's so many, we're gonna disregard that for right now. And we're just gonna take all of these out because nothing matters anymore. Um, so he did sets of two, for, like two pobs for each store, except for K-Town and for Highline. So because of that, the way I'm gonna do the layout is I'm gonna put K-Town on one page, Highline on another, and they'll be across the top or the bottom and then two, like each set underneath. Cause I think that's the best way that it's gonna work out for now. <laughs> um, so yeah, of the three pop sets, I think I like K-Town's the best just because it's the most cohesive. So I'm going to put that one on the front page. Yeah, you do it like this. And I do have more nine pocket pages here because I'm going to need it. So I'm going to do it like that. And let me grab another nine pocket one here. I'm actually just going to grab two. Because even if I don't need the second one today, I will definitely need it in the future. I cannot believe how many pops Mono and Monsta X did this comeback. It's it's too much. Like, I think moving forward, I might have to limit myself with what I'm doing as far as pops go. Because it's just, it's it's a little too much at this point. I think uh, Highline and Starship need to cut back. And it's not just them. It's like all companies are doing a ton of pre-order benefits. So, Yeah. So these are the three Highline store ones and the MMT, I believe, round ones are this same um, concept here. So I'm gonna put them below since they kind of flow that way. And then I wanna see, I don't know that any of the ones that I have currently, okay. This one from, oh, I don't even know. I forget where these ones are from. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. But because they're that same concept, I'll put them here. I'm pretty sure there's one that probably looks like this that I might have on the way, so I'll wait for that. Um, and then on the front page, I want to do my faves. So these are my three faves. So we got the hollow, which are, of course, going to go in the center because, duh, they're hollow. <laughs> um, so yes, these are going to go in here. And then these are the other two that are my faves. These hollow ones are from Makestar. Yes, Makestar. And then these are both from Soundwave, I believe. I believe this is Soundwave round one and Soundwave round two. 
So, and since they all have the blue streaks and he has the blue streaks and like the face paint, so yeah. <laughs> These are gonna go here. So yes, they kind of look cohesive. And then the only other pops that I have right now are these My Music Taste Round 2s, which I do also very, very much enjoy. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put these over here on their own page for now. And then, like I said, when I get more pops, we'll figure it out. Um, like I said, I'm going to do the bigger things off camera. And for his message cards, I think what I'm going to do is, like, fold them. I'll show you. I'm not going to do it on camera again, like I said, just because there's too much going on right now. Um... But because they're actually like attached like this, I think what I'm going to do is just fold them like this and then put them in like this. And I'm not going to sleeve them. They're going to be thick already, so I don't want to do the sleeves. But yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. Um, I'm only missing one. I did get a trade for one of the ones that I was missing, so I'm really just missing one. Hoping I can find the other one soon. Um, but yeah, so that's how I'm going to do that. Um, but that's it. That's all I have for this binder. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next one. So up next, we're moving into one of the Monsta X binders. I'm going into my OT7 sets because I only have one thing, and it is Kian's English message post message card um, from One of a Kind era. So this is not a retired binder, but a retired binder in the sense that I'm not putting anything else in here. I originally had no limit in here, but it was just entirely too thick. And yeah, so <laughs> this is OT7 sets from Follow through one of a kind era. So yes, that is where this binder is going to stay. If I end up getting anything else from these eras, I can, I still have some room to put it in. Like if I decide to put in, I don't know, like tower records cards, if I decide to go back and do OT7 sets for everyone for those, then they'll come in here. But I still need to finish my Fantasia English postcards. But for the most part, we probably won't be in this binder ever again. Um, or at least not often because all the sets and everything are done for this. So um, excluding the Fantasia English postcards. That's probably the only thing we'll be in here for in the future. Um, but yes, so we got Kian's finally. I found someone selling it, so I bought it, and then I sold my extra honey. So yes, I have all six of the members for this now, and that is complete. Um, and then for Monster X, for the last couple photo cards I have, we have to go over to the other binder. So I'm going to grab that. Right, so here is the other binder. So this is... Uh, it says Young Wan and Special PCs, which it still is, but um, it's really OT7 sets from Trespass until we are here. I did go ahead and actually set up for all of them because I decided I am going to collect OT7 for everything for Monster X. So I just went ahead and set up. I don't have a ton of stuff for obviously most of them. I just have like Young Wan's cards for most things. I do have this last card though. This was the first OT7 set I decided to do. Well, one of them. I decided to do... Um, the clan part two as well as trespass for my first round of like um ot7 sets and this minya card was the bane of my existence but i finally found someone selling it so i got it and i'm super happy to have it so the clan part two ot7 is officially done and it looks so good Ah, uh, yes, but so I did go through and set up for OT7, like I said, but for the most part, <laughs> it, it is just Young Wan on most pages. Um, I kept a few older photo cards for like Shonu, Wanu, Wanho, and um, Chan Kyun for like group orders that I held that didn't sell, or like I kept them um, instead of selling them. But like I said, most of this stuff is just Young Wan because I really only have his stuff. So, yes. Um, so that is what the big front of this is, is just all of the OT7 sets that I will eventually get to on downtime when there's like not a ton of comebacks and stuff. Um, so then I did kind of set up uh, the special photo cards a little bit better. So here will be broadcast photo cards. I'm hoping to get at least two from this era. Um, these are other Hyung Wan special cards. And then these are other member special cards. So over here, I do have Hyung Wan's um, Pepsi version three. So I am going to put it over here with Chung Kyun and Shonu's just because it's a set at this point. Um, and I think it would look weird to not have it over here. So yes, yeah, so there's those. And then for this page, I do have some Hyung Wan photo cards. I have, um, actually I have another broadcast card. This, I forget what era this is from, but I found it on uh, Baiyi Mercari Japan. So I have this now. Um, so this will actually go over here. I'm going to put it down here just because I like how this the layout looks. <laughs> I think it looks cohesive, so I'm actually just going to put it here for now. But I will put it in, like, era order as I get more. So, yeah, it's just going to be like that for now. 
And then for over here, I have these four Hyangwon Wellage photo cards. So I think how I want to do it is I'm going to put this guy up here. I think this is from Shine Forever, the repackage. That's what the photo card says. Someone gave it to me in something. I'm not sure if it's official or not, so I've just been keeping it in here. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to do the four down here so that way they're all together. These two are my absolute favorites. Like, look at them. They're so freaking cute. I was super happy to be able to get these. Actually, I'm going to do it this way because he's wearing just a plain white t-shirt and both of those. So, yes. So that is it for Monster X photo cards. Super happy to be working on, like, my Hyung Wan special photo cards and stuff. It's just super satisfying. And obviously, we'll get more OT7 yeah. stuff when there's not a million and two things happening. Um, but, yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to the next binder now. So up next, we are moving into the 17 binder. In case you missed it, yes, they do have their own binder now because look at this. It's so thick already. Um, but yes, so for those of you that don't know, I do collect three members from an ode forward. They are June, DK, and Wanu. And I got, I found a really nice bundle for DK's um, an ode PCs that had a lot of the ones that I was missing. I'm officially only missing one. I'm, I have one of the two that I need yet on the way in. It is this one, and then I am only missing uh, one of these two yet, so that's super exciting. So yes, I have most of them, and they had the beret ones, which is why the bundle was so perfect. So yeah, super excited about that, so we'll go ahead and put these away. Um, I'm so happy that these pages are finally like getting completed because, oh guys, it was a struggle. You guys remember when I first started this collection, and everything was so bare, and it was kind of sad to look at and now slowly these pages are starting to fill out and it's just super exciting to see that happening especially the beret photos i am so happy that the beret photos are complete look at that beret boys <laughs> they're so cute um but yeah most of these were complete but i was just dk was like a hard member and i focused on june because he's my number one bias and then wano because He's very hard to find sometimes. So DK always just kind of gets, not left in the dust, but he's never like the number one priority out of the three. So I'm sorry, DK. <laughs> um, I do have a few Hengede photo cards. I just have two for June. So this, I have one of the Hana and one of the Set ones. So we'll just do them here. Again, I'll play with the layout when I get the last two, but it's so wild that he is almost done. So, yes, Wanu needs some serious work for Hengede. Not gonna lie. Um, he's looking kind of sad. Um, DK's not too bad. Um, and then, obviously, we have all of DK's post uh, bookmarks. Um, and then the other things I have are all for their most recent comeback, Attica. So, let's see here. We've got a few for the top three, and then I did decide to collect an OT, actually two OT7 sets. I'm doing the Target exclusives, OT7, I'm sorry, I'm so used to Monsta X. <laughs> OT13 sets, I'm doing the Target exclusives and then the version one photo cards. So um, I did keep my top three's version one photo cards separate just because of layout reasons and stuff. So um, yes, so I have June's last version one, and I have both of Wanu's version ones, which is super exciting. So version one is done for my top three, which is very nice. Um, for version two, I have both of June's. These And version two is actually complete for all of them now, too. So I have the last ones that I needed here, which is super exciting. Um, I should have put these in number order. I didn't even check if I did it. I did. Okay, perfect. I think I did it over there. Yeah. Look at me go. Doing things in number order. Because they have, like, the numbers on the back, which is super helpful. Because some of these look very similar. <laughs> um, but, yes. So, version 2 is done for the top 3. And then version 3, I just have one of DKs. Yeah, I just have one of DKs. Which is this one. I do have... Um, I think DK and June's other ones on the way. I just don't have, I'm still, I still need Wanu's. I actually might still need DK's. I know for sure I just got, I actually think I just got June's in the mail the other day. 
Um, and then for version one, I have one of Mingao's other cards. I think I have his other one. Yes, so I have D8, his other one for the OT13 set for version one. And then for the Target exclusives, I have Wanu and the eight again. So Wanu goes here. And I actually have June's on the way as well. I'm literally just missing Joshua's <laughs> and his is actually kind of hard to find. So I'm sad about that, um, but yes. And then I do have a couple bigger inclusions that I can throw in quick since I actually have the pages that I need in here. <laughs> um, I have a couple postcards and a couple of the folding cards. So I have June's OP3 and then Wanu's OP2 and OP3 postcards. Um, yes, so we've got June's OP2. If Wanu's ends up, no, Wanu's is vertical too. So yeah, I was gonna say, if one of them is horizontal already, then I'll put it in there, but it's not. Um, and then Wanu's is gonna go on the back here. I did double side these just because I, I don't like only doing single sides and the backs weren't super, super interesting this time around. Um, so I felt okay with doing that. Um, and then for the folding cards, I have both June and DK's OP1s now. So I'll put these in here and I am double siding these. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't want his name facing out. I will put um, cut card stock one of these days for for these and put them in. I'm really sad these don't fit into six pocket pages. They're just a little bit too big, but luckily they're at the back and when this is closed, be able to smush them down. <laughs> Real nice. Um, I thought I had some more, but I guess I don't. I guess not. That's fine. Um, and then lastly, I do have two of June's older cards. I have his second boys B, which is super exciting. And one of his, you made my day. Um, these were actually in a bundle along with one of his and Ode cards that I already had on regular Mercari for like 20 bucks. So I was like, heck yes. Cause these photo cards alone go for like 50 bucks sometimes. So, <laughs> um, June is still not completely set up for, so I'm going to have to move some stuff around real quick. So my goal is to at least one of these days eventually <laughs> um, go in and actually set up June's properly for all of his older cards. I know I have a couple random ones for like Wanu um, as well, but I 100% will be collecting all of June's older cards. Um, again, it's kind of like the Monster X OT7 sets whenever I have time and there's not a million and two comebacks coming like happening. Um, but yes, so I will eventually set up his properly. <laughs> um, but that's it for the now. I did kind of keep these two freebie cards that someone sent me. They're group cards and they're just so pretty because they're hollow. So I kind of want to keep these. I'm just going to put them on this page for right now. Honestly, I don't, I don't know. I'll do something with them eventually when I reorganize this binder, but they're going in here for now. Um, but yes, so that is it for 17. We'll move over to the Girl Groups binder because that is the last thing I have. And then we are dumbzo. Last but certainly not least, we have the Girl Groups binder. Um, it's mostly twice, but I do have like two photo cards for Everglow, or no, one photo card for Everglow and like three for Dreamcatcher, so we'll do those. <laughs> um, but yes, I have two older cards and then one from Southern Holiday. I have one older card for Xion and one older card for Sua. Xion's is from Raid of Dream and Sua's is from Alone in the City. And then I have Dummies, <laughs> um, K-Town pre-order benefits, so that's super exciting. Um, I'm just missing two of the summer holiday photo cards now for my OT7 set. It's one Jiu and one Handong. I will get them eventually. Again, they've kind of just fallen um, to the bottom of the priority list right now due to Monsta X and Wano taking over my life. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we got Dami's. I did get that because I saw it for a good price on regular Mercari. So that's done. Um, as for the older cards, again, I do not have these set up at all. So for right now, I'm actually just gonna put these back here because this video is getting long and I'm honestly getting tired and I wanna go back to work. <laughs> um, this is my break, my lunch break is what I'm doing here. So I need to get back to work soon. So I'm just gonna put them back here, but I will organize them into these pages. Um, and again, I will eventually set up for Xi'an and Sua's older stuff, mainly Sua's because hers is getting to be a lot, but we'll do it one of these days <laughs> we'll get there. 
Um, so here we are. Let's go back to Everglow real quick to get, oh, and I do have a Lisa photo card as well back there. Forgot about that. Let me do the Lisa one a while since we're here. But this is one of her, I think this is the gold version photo cards. So I'm going to put this one here. Again, I forget what the other ones look like. Another very low priority thing for me right now. Um, but I did get my group order things in the mail, so I'll post the duplicates that I got um, eventually for trade. Um, and I did get one more of her Polaroids, so that will go back here. Oh, look, I got two extra sleeves for these. I don't know why I never finished sleeving these, because I went through and like reorganized my binders and was like doing all that one day. Um, but this is for this concept, so I'm going to put it up here. And yeah. That's it for that. And then for Everglow, I do have this one on the way and I have this one on the way. So, or no, I have that one. It's one from this one. It's the hollow card. I don't have a spot for it because it was like a first press, but I found it. So I will reorganize this then, but I have this one. So I'm really just missing her last reminiscence one. And then I'm done for on the she's caught up. So that's super exciting. I was so excited when I saw this one. Because as you know, Arrival of Everglow is hard to find. <laughs> um, but yes, so that's it for that. And then I just need to flip here to my twice section. So I am collecting Jungyeon, Momo, and um, Sana for Formula of Love. So I have quite a few of their photo cards and scratch cards and stuff. So these are all the photo cards I have. I have a couple scratch cards and ID cards. And then these are all the pre-order cards. I am going to put them in my binder but I don't know if I'll do this for like full member moving forward. We'll see. Um, so yes, let's see here. So these are all of the ones for the first page. So I decided to do the red concepts first for my top three, because these were my two. I decided to do the red and the pink version on the same page because they were my two favorite concepts and they laid out on a page nicely. So, yes. Oh, shoot. That's not. <laughs> uh, I'm already messing it up. See, this is my sign that I just need to go back to work and stop doing photo card stuff. I'm not even going to clean my mess up here until I'm done with work. I have like an hour or two left and I need to get notes done. So, yes, that's what I'll be doing. Um, but then we have these. I'm going to do the heart ones in the middle where they're like holding this candy heart, which is super cute. Um, and I'm just, I do have Sana's other one on the way, so I'm really just missing Momo's red version for this one. I think I'm missing two of Momo's cards and one of Sana's. So I'm almost done with twice, but again, it's going to be another low priority thing <laughs> until um, then. So, and then we got the peach version and then the blue. I do have all of their blue versions here, which is super exciting. It is my least favorite concept, but it is still exciting to have a full one done, like a full set done. And then for the peach versions, they're wearing like glasses slash have a prop in one of them. So there's only gonna put in the middle. And then I do have Jong Yun's other one. So yes, so there's those. And then I have their IDs and their scratch cards here. So I do have Sana and Jungyeon's scratch cards. I do have Momo's on the way. I found a trade for it. So that's super exciting. And then for the IDs, I think I'm going to flip them around because like with the Taemin ones, they do slide down. Oh, I did switch them around already. Cool. So I have both of Jungyeon's IDs, which is super exciting. And then I have both Momo and Sana's red IDs. So again, super exciting. There we go. And then I think I might actually just do the full uh, OT nine sets off screen. So. Yes, because I'm tired. So we'll end here. Um, <laughs> sorry, this got a little bit boring towards the end. I kind of lost my steam in case you couldn't tell. Um, oh, and I do have postcards too for the girls. I'll just show them to you. I do have all three of their index cards. 
And then I have Sana and Jong Yun's Target exclusive cards. So I'll put those in off camera as well, but I've just lost my steam <laughs> and I'm getting hot. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys like this type of content, I suggest subscribing. I do a lot of um, K-pop content, obviously. Um, but yes, so I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are. I hope you're staying happy, healthy, and safe. And I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye.